the unattainable image and how it affects people. So as somebody who's been a power lifter or bodybuilder for quite some time, I can tell you, firstly, I have no problem with Abby from The Last of Us 2, but if you want to talk about unattainable, it's very hard to look like Abby as a female. You have to work very hard at it. Maybe even take some nefarious chemicals to change your body composition. However, I don't have a problem with it, and neither did anyone else. We're representing all different shapes and sizes, correct? This is a female in a game. A lot of the other females in this game were built like 13-year-old boys. Okay, that's fine too. I have no problem with it. Just like I have no problem when we represent the female form at the other end of the spectrum. So Digital Foundry talked about a game called Project Eve recently. They had nothing but praise about it. However, one person in particular on the panel said, from the neck down, there's a problem. The character model is stuck in a last gen or old style of character model. And I don't know if I agree with that. Just because it's a female character who looks female, right? Wearing tight clothes, there's nothing wrong with that. Just like there's nothing wrong with having a female character essentially look like me, 270 pounds of muscle. If there's nothing wrong with that, it is unattainable. It's very difficult, but nobody had a problem with it. Why is there a problem now when we see a quote unquote traditional looking female? And by the way, let's take female characters like Lara Croft. Do you think Lara Croft would look like she sits around and drinks six packs all week smoking cigarettes? She's running, she's jumping, she's climbing, she's fighting. Of course, she's probably going to be in shape and she's going to look good in tight clothing. Just like Abby looks good, by the way, in tank tops and t-shirts, which is what they kept her in most of the game to show off those muscles. You see, you can't be okay with overemphasizing and showing off one form, which is what they were doing in The Last of Us 2, by constantly letting you see her chiseled chest and her biceps and her triceps in these tight clothes or these loose-fitting clothes or these tank tops. You can't be okay with that and then upset when another developer decides to put a female in tight clothing, a female who's more built in the traditional sense than Abby or Ellie or anyone else in The Last of Us 2. I don't see the distinction. And to me, it just seems really disingenuous to complain about something like this. You know, it could be I'm just extremely old and I just don't find things like this very offensive. If a woman in a gym trains extremely hard and extremely heavy and wants to walk around in a tank top and show off her muscles, I'm fine with it. If another woman works very hard and is very soft and demure and wants to show off, I have no problem with that. I have no problem with representing all shapes and sizes, but I have a problem with complaining about just one particular shape while highlighting another with no issue. I'll give you an example. There have been some actresses in games who've literally had the way that they look altered for the character in the game. Dina, for instance, Ellie's love interest. The character was changed. The actress who plays Dina is well endowed. They actually shrunk the size of her chest in the game because I guess maybe it was offensive. I don't know. But clearly, if you have a problem with one end of the spectrum in terms of a shape or a size, then why wouldn't you have a problem with the other end of the spectrum? My idea is, who cares? Highlight them all, not an issue. Now the big saving grace in all of this is the game is being developed by a Korean game developer. If this was a Western game developer, you wouldn't even see a game with a character like this in it, let alone them showcasing it. You'd probably see some sort of uproar or even worse, maybe even calls for it not to release. But I just don't see the issue here. I have no problem highlighting an unattainable body image in Abby, which is attainable, kind of, if you work extremely hard. So I would have no problem highlighting another body image, which is attainable if you work extremely hard at it. So 
Let me know what you think in the comments section below about this. Does this upset you that there's a character, a female character in a game that is strong and tough and sexy and embraces that? And let me know if you are okay with that and why you're okay with it. Or is this all just a lot of nonsense and once the game comes out, it'll be kick-ass, just like another really strong, really tough, really sexy character, Bayonetta. Thanks for watching. Think about subscribing to the channel, sharing it out on your favorite social media platform of choice. At the very least, hit the like button. It would help me grow the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.